Hi kids and welcome back to I love learning with Miss Leah. Exclamation mark. And today is let that up here. Today is Thursday. April second, two thousand twenty. And today I'm going to read you a story called New Shoes, Red Shoes. I want you to think as we read this story of the shoes that you have. What kinds of shoes do you have? What colors are your shoes? Do your shoes do anything special? Who bought you those shoes? How did it make you feel inside when you got your new shoes? We're going to take a look at this book and we're, Ms. Lee is going to read it and I want you to pay attention to the different kinds of shoes this little girl sees and how she describes them. Maybe you have the same kind of shoes too. Read, read, read a book. We are getting smart. Here are pictures. Take a look. Here are words. Let's start. And the book is called New Shoes, Red Shoes, written by Susan Rowland. She's the one who wrote the words, who writes the words in the book, the author, and who draws the pictures or takes pictures or paints a picture, the illustrator, yes. New shoes, red shoes. I wonder where she got those red shoes from. Look at all those red shoes. Here's the title page, New Shoes, Red Shoes. Two shoes, small shoes, off to get some new shoes. Low shoes, high shoes, sitting on the bus, Shoes. Flat shoes, summer shoes. Friends with very pointy shoes. Warm shoes, soft shoes, tiny little Baby shoes. <laughs> Tired shoes, dirty shoes. Rows and rows and rows of shoes. Blue shoes. Pink shoes, red and shiny new shoes. Best shoes, special shoes, home with very precious shoes. New shoes, party shoes. 
time to put them on shoes. Happy shoes, dancing shoes, skipping to the party shoes. Ribbon shoes, sparkly shoes, big and noisy racing shoes. Magic shoes, disco shoes, mustn't step on these new shoes. Lots and lots and lots of shoes, but best of all are my shoes. The end of new shoes, red shoes. And let's go back when we were reading the book the little girl mentioned some different kinds of shoes that she saw. Do you remember? I remember those too. She pointed to some were pointy, sparkly, ribbon. She said another one. Let's go back and see. Let's see. Warm shoes, soft shoes. She described a lot of different kinds of shoes as she saw as she was walking to. Where did she go to get her shoes? Hmm. That's right, she was going to the store. Why was she getting shoes? Why was she getting new shoes? Does that really that was in the book? She was going to a party? How do you know she was going to a party? Hmm, let's look back in the book. Oh, I remember this part where it says new shoes, party shoes. I remember that one being read, those words. And then I remember this page. Skipping to the party shoes. What on this page lets you know that it's a party? What do you see? I see other kids. I see balloons. Balloons can tell us that usually there's a party involved. Yes. Give your brain a kiss if you had that. I did too. So I want you to go into your closet and look at your shoes or wherever you have your shoes and look at them. And how are your shoes the same? Maybe like some of the shoes little girl saw. I'm going to show you Miss Leah's favorite shoes. I'm wearing them right now. Yep, these are Miss Leah's favorite shoes. My slippers. I love my slippers. Look, they have fur. And they're soft. And you know what? They're flat. See? They're flat and they're so comfortable. My favorite shoes. And I can draw them too. I want to show you my son Hassan. He drew a shoe that he would like to have. So he used his imagination and came up with a type of shoe that he would like. Here's his shoe that he drew, he put the colors in, he drew the shapes, the faces, the sign, and then he took it a, a step further and he actually designed his own shoe using paper and tape. And it does look like his picture. <laughs> he did his best. Yep, pretty cool. Yeah, I had to save it. But you can do the same thing too. 
you don't have to do this, but you can go and draw your favorite shoe that you like, that you have, or use your imagination and design your own kind of shoe or how you would like your shoe to look. Until next time, I hope you enjoy our read aloud book, New Shoes, Red Shoes. Until next time, kids, Ms. Leah will see you later. Bye.